Hey there, I'm Jen. Welcome to my shop. I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't, you really should. We have a lot of fun. If anything, you'll get an idea. That's what YouTube's all about is generating that creativity. This week, I'm gonna try something completely different. Now, I tried to dabble with my green thumb, which I don't have, as you can see. But I made a garden, a raised garden bed, three years ago, I think I filmed it. You should check it out. This is what I tried to do with it this year. Come along. For Christmas this year, my husband got me this grow kit system. We have a tradition in our family where we make something and have an activity. And this sort of meets both of those requirements, which was really cool. Now, this is where we started, just on our little baker's rack to slowly start growing things. We found out quickly that plants were gonna overtake our home. And I did not have a grow light system that could meet the needs of all of the seedlings that I started. I just had this three-armed purple light that I was using just to maintain some of my annuals that I pull off our pergola each year, but that didn't cut it. So soon I was clipping glow lights to our furniture, and <laughs> that was a little ridiculous. So I saw this video from the indoor gardener where she took PVC pipe to help stabilize her the grow light system that she created. Now she used a five gallon bucket to insert the pipe. I'll include a link for that video. I did something a little bit different to try and move it around easier, put it underneath furniture, things like that. So that helped and things started to take off like a shot. think squirrels was the only thing I had to worry about. Not with the maxi cat around. Not sure this is going to work. Do you think they can crawl up it? Probably. Squirrels. Silly creatures. Yes, you need to have labels. I really wanted to incorporate something from the scroll saw into this project. I found this. Sheila Landry Designs. I'll include a link. But I was thinking, I can figure this out. Of course, the trick is to not make it seem like the stick is going up. Your poor bunny's behind. So I googled silhouette rabbit images. And I know I've used this guy before. But I am going to save him. Because I tried to find him and I couldn't find it. And label. Then go to Inkscape, import, and let's hope it's up. Yeah, it's up there. Open. Okay. All right, he needs to be bigger. Because I'm going to write on him. I don't have the best writing in the world. And then let's add a box. And once again, I have it marked white. Let's turn it brown and move it over a little bit because that's going to be the stake, right? So, and whoops, delete. Scoot over. That should work. Now, I'm thinking he might not print well, so we'll see. 
I also want to do a squirrel. So I did the same thing when it came to that. Squirrel silhouette. Something pretty simple. There we go. Save image. It already exists. When did I do a squirrel? All right. Well, I'll have to figure that out. You could probably paint these, like the sample I showed you earlier, Sheila Landry designs, but my painting skills and calligraphy and handwriting is just not there. So I'm trying to find stickers. Not sure how they'll survive. Let's see. I'm so pleased with how these turned out. They are adorable. It's exactly what I was looking for to add to my garden. They just fit. And my garden is actually coming around really well. I was worried. It was a lot of trial and error, but look at that cucumber. And I'm going to have more tomatoes for my salsa. It's perfect.